everybody. Welcome. I'm Jason from As One Guidance, and today we're going to talk about synchronicities. Everybody loves talking about their synchronicities with their twins. Uh, you know, all the all the things that you have in common, uh, all these these crazy number combinations that that come up. Uh, you know, surrounding you and your twin flame relationship and union, and uh, you know, all you know, just amazing different things that are that are so similar uh, within each other's lives. You know, upbringing and uh, different relationships that you have with with certain family members, and uh, you know, birthdays and and all of these things that uh, are just synchronic, and and they they uh, mirror e each other and and mirror all the things within your lives that that is going on especially when you you had no idea who this person was uh, how can their life and their upbringing be you know so like almost identical to you know yours and and uh, so when we when we talk about these things and we notice that there's so many similarities and there's there's so many different correlations between uh, your life and your twin's life. And then, you know, on on the flip side of that, I speak with people and and they they tell me all of their all of their synchronicities and they see all these numbers when when they're at certain places or when they're thinking about their twin or you know if they if they see their twin or have an interaction, uh, and then. You know, you say, well, you're not separate from your twin. And you're always together. And you're, you're one being. And they're like, no, nope, no, nope, that's not it. Can't be it. That's not true. No way. You know, you, you, you these things are happening. These, all of these things are being, uh, are on your path. They're, these number combinations and, and all of these amazing synchronicities that are showing you uh, proof and they're showing you so that you aren't you aren't doubting what's happening but then you're told that you're one being and you're not separate and you're never separate and uh-uh nope that's where I draw the line like I I could you know I'm I'm walking through the grocery store and uh, run into my twin and we both spilled jello on our shirt in the same exact spot at lunch. Crazy synchronicity. You're not separate from your twin. Nope. No, don't buy that. What what are you buying? Your your ego is trying to keep you in that consciousness, in that state of consciousness that you're separate from yourself, that you're separate from your twin. It's trying to keep you fragmented and your job is to unfragment yourself your job is to realize that that's true that you are not separated from your twin you're not separate from your twin you're always with each other you are one being you are you know you're you're one all the time there's never a moment where you're not together you're not within each other. And that's what we're trying to do is to heal that separation consciousness uh, to get into union. That's what's going to bring you into union. And there's a your, your mind throws all of these things in your to block your path that are blocks. Throws all of these things at you. You, this isn't real. You know, there's there's no way that that's true. That you're one. You know, you're you're separate. You know, look, they're doing, they're over there doing that, and you're over here doing this. So how how can you be how can you be one? How can you be how can you not be separate? How can you not be separate from somebody that's oh you know ten feet away or a hundred miles away? Or a thousand miles away. 
How does that make sense? But you make sense out of, you know, pretty absurd, you know, th throughout this journey, there's some pretty absurd synchronicities, miracles. That you, that's the only way to, to really define what's going on when you see these things happen and you see these correlations between your life and your twin's life. It's miracles. There's no other way to describe it. So why can't you wrap your head around not being separate? Why do you think that you're separated from your twin? Well, these are the things that, that you do need to heal, is that these are coming up to show you that, okay, heal me now. You know, your, your higher self is begging you to heal these blocks so that you could just be one. You could be one with yourself. You could be one with your twin. You know what? Be allow yourself to have that. Allow really, you know, dig deep and 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 truly choose that. Allow that to happen. You deserve all of these great things in your life, and you really deserve to create, you know, whatever it is that that you want in your life. But you have to be able to allow that to happen and, and, and change your perspective in order to allow these things to come into your life. So when you're noticing all of these miracles that are happening around you and all of these miracles that uh, have happened and that have come into your life, uh, especially regarding... Uh, you know, different uh, interactions and, and, and different moments, special things that have happened, you know, surrounding your twin flame journey. Miracles happen all the time. You can have your twin. You can have them in this lifetime. You can be with them physically right now. You know, use, use what's being given to you to heal right into your union. So visit asoneguidance.com, sign up for a 15-minute consultation, uh, check out my services that I you know, help you into union, uh, leave a comment down below, and have a great week, have a great day, enjoy these post-apocalyptic solar eclipse energies, and I will see you next time.